this video we're going to take a look at a feature of Word uh, called Templates. And uh, you see right now I have Word open, but I do not have a document. So I'm going to try to create a new document right now by doing Control N for New. That's the keyboard shortcut. And when you do that, you just basically get this blank piece of paper. It's got some things preset, like uh, margins of one inch all the way around. It's got the font set to Calibri. 11 and you get your styles and a few other things but basically you get a blank piece of paper and you're free to do whatever you want to with it so you can be as creative as you want. Uh, however, there's another way to create a new document. Uh, let's go to our file tab up here and on the file tab let's choose new. And you've probably seen this before. Uh, what we have here is a bunch of templates and here's what a template is. A template is a document that has been designed for you and um, what you do is you take it and you modify it to meet your needs. So uh, for example let's take a look down here there's a trifold brochure and let's just click on that and we get this little pop-up box here and it'll show us a little preview here on the left and then we can click on create over here on the right and it downloads the template for us. Uh, I think it's a good idea when you're dealing with templates to make this show hide button turned on, push it in, and the reason is it will show you all of the hidden text uh, like paragraph marks, spaces, tabs, uh, and if there are tables in there, and here's a little hint that we've got a table, here's this little four-headed arrow up here in the top left corner, and uh, so you can see that what I've got here is, it looks like I've got a three-column table by looking up here at the rule board, so here's column one, here's column two, which they've done some interesting stuff with, and here's column three over here, and uh, so you can click on stuff, and uh, change it and a lot of this stuff is you know obviously designed to be changed and if you click on it uh, you'll see that these are fields that turn gray and so it selects the whole thing and so if I want to type in the name of my own company there I just click on it once it selects everything and then you can type on top of it whatever you want to okay so over here um, you know this is the heading for what goes on the left side and so you click on it once it selects the whole thing you replace it you know, you click down here, it selects all this stuff, and you can put your own stuff in. Uh, over here, it looks like, what have we got here? It looks like we have, um, some rotated text, and, let's see. So we got some rotated text here and um, a table is one of the few ways that you can actually rotate text and uh, if you select something here and if we go look at uh, the layout tab under table tools you can see that we have uh, changed the text direction here so um, you know this looks like uh, it's supposed to be folded and uh, this is where you put the return address and the address of the recipient so it obviously needs to be uh, rotated so that when you look at it, uh, everything will be right side up, the mailman. Uh, let's go back over here and do file and new again, and let's take a look at another feature of templates. And that is, we've got categories here, okay? Um, so let's click on, um, let's go to business here and see what they've got for business categories. And we've got a whole bunch. Um, you know, we've, if we scroll down here, we can see more of them should pop up here as I scroll. Uh, and if you look over here on the right side, um, they've got them divided up into a bunch of different categories. So they've got a ton of stuff out here, and this stuff uh, is changing all of the time. Um, so you can do a search here and. So let's say uh, that we're looking for uh, business cards. You can type in the search terms. And 
and this is what we get for uh, business cards. Um, let's try another one here. So there's a bunch of options, and um, you can go in and customize those as much as you want. Let's say you want to do a newsletter. Type in newsletter in the search box and hit enter. And I'm a little surprised we only get about, uh, looks like we got 14 uh, newsletter options here, but uh, you know, and most of them had do columns. And uh, let's uh, let's try this one right here, and we'll just click on create. And this is what we get when we download the newsletter. And again, I think it's important to have your show hide button pushed in. And uh, when you click on that, the whole thing turns gray. And something else here, we've seen this with uh, cover pages. If you select something here, uh, there is frequently a little box up here at the top that comes up. And if you want to get rid of it, click on it once until it turns a dark gray. The first time it's a light gray. And then the, when you click on it, it turns a dark gray. And then you can hit delete, and it will delete the whole thing. I'm going to do a control Z to bring that back, though. And um, down here, uh, if you look at some of this stuff, uh, you know, you can figure out whether this is tables, uh, if it looks in the way it looks because it's divided up into tables, or um, whether it's divided up into columns. And it kind of looks like, uh, if we click on this stuff here, I don't see the little four-headed arrow up here that you normally see with a table. And I also don't see any table tools up here at the top. If I go to my layout tab and go to columns, um, I'm not seeing columns either. You know why? Uh, you see the little lines around these? These are uh, text boxes, I think. So uh, they drew a text box here and a text box here, and then it looks like we've got another one over here, and they've changed the background of it. And um, so you can see the different components here, and there'll be the little gray box with the three dots. And if you want to delete it, you can delete it. If you want to replace it with something, you can just click on it and select it, and you can copy and paste your own stuff in there. So. Uh, before you start doing any kind of a fancy document, uh, my recommendation is that you go out to your uh, file open command and look at the templates and type in some keywords. And there's a really good chance, there are thousands of templates out there, there's a really good chance that somebody has already done what it is that you want to do. And all you have to do is take their template and, you know, you probably won't copy it uh, exactly. You can reformat it a little bit, but at least you're not starting from scratch. So you've got uh, a good head start on what you want to do.